Hello, friends and lovers, and welcome to Wall World. This is a brand new action roguelike, I think we can call it. Very, very similar to Dome Keeper, if you enjoyed that. So we drive around the spider tank, and then we suck up the resources, and we dig. And then we have to defend the spider tank also. Pretty straightforward. You got the shooting mechanism here. You can only hold so many resources at once. There's lots of upgrades when we get back to the spider tank, and the goal... At first, I thought it was just to survive uh, these 20 minutes, but actually, at the end of the 20 minutes, just spawns the boss, and you know, obviously, you're going to want to survive that, but then it keeps going after that, so it could actually go a long time. There are meta upgrades, so if you look in the very top right, there's a number there, and that increases for every single wall I destroy, and that will can be used uh, to upgrade different meta things after we lose. All right, so we have to reconnect to the spider tank, and now we can choose some upgrades that we got going on here. So we have 10, I don't know, blue orbs, I'm going to call them. <laughs> and we can get things like gun rotation speed, uh, machine gun fire rate, because that's how we're going to defend, move speed, drilling efficiency. I kind of like going early on the drilling efficiency, maybe the gun rotation speed, and you'll see why when we actually have to go out and fight monsters. But I was actually having a lot of fun with that. I was a little, I was a little concerned because it it's obviously very similar to Dome Keeper at first glance but uh, i was having fun and i decided to give it a little showing here you know it's brand new too so who knows what's gonna be in the future as well it might be a bit more relaxed than some of my other playthroughs just because there is some downtime in between uh just kind of running to and from the tank here i'm a little late getting back all right. So I do have this missile. That was an upgrade that I had to purchase. Is that it? I think that might be it. Okay. First wave is obviously going to be easy. But yeah, you use that turret to defend uh, the crab tank. Crab tank? Spider tank. And you get to aim it. You could use the mouse and keyboard. I'm using the controller now. But you do have to think about the gun rotation. And yeah, but you get that crosshair vanilla. They upgraded the homing missile. I didn't get to actually use it there, though. That's just a cooldown. But there's lots of upgrades and lots of choices. And they have, let's see, the equivalent of gadgets that you can find in these mines here. And then those can have their own upgrade trees as well. Ooh, what's this about? Oh, we got a gadget, I think. You found a schematics e economic drilling. 5% chance to get resources from any block. Ooh. Do I just get that, get that? I've never encountered this. I don't know. That's pretty sweet if so. I guess we'll look at the tank and see what it has to say. Let's take a look. So it's nothing... There's nothing new here. It would add a skill tree if it was actually a usable gadget. So I guess we just get that. That's pretty sweet, huh? Oh, it's right here. Oh, so it just unlocked a random block, maybe? That one's, like, impossible to get to, I think, too. So that's pretty sweet. All right, cool. All right, so we actually have to move the tank, and you can actually do this during combat, too, to try to avoid some uh, melee units, potentially. And there's dashes for the tank that you can unlock to make it move a little bit more quickly and things like that, but I don't have any of that stuff yet. Let's hop on out, and now we got a new mine, so once you finish up one mining area, or maybe just when you decide that it's too far to travel inward, also, you could just go to a new one. The gray resources, just, just like a different resource. It, I mean, it still is just for upgrades. I don't think it really has much correlation to anything in particular. Okay. What do we want to upgrade? I'm thinking machine gun fire rate is a decent one to snag now. I don't want to get too greedy going for all economic purchases. Let's fire our homing missile. Okay, that's probably it, right? We can... Uh, I had a... My my first real run, I guess that you'd call it. I had a turret that I was able to put down. It would do most of the fighting for me. I would love to get that again. Just because it kind of meant that I could go and do more mining myself. We'll see, though. I do kind of just go through and do every single block. Maybe that's kind of a mistake. But now with the 5% chance of getting stuff, too, right? 
Doesn't seem like a bad idea. Oh, lucky again? You found Skimax for the boosted exoskeleton reactor, plus 20 drilling efficiency, plus 10% move speed in the mine. Oh my god, that's that's crazy good. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we got kind of lucky. <laughs> I've never seen those events before, and then we get two crazy good ones early, it looks. I guess we'll come back for this stuff real quick. Our capacity is now full. You can see our tank's health in the bottom left. That is the green bar. The purple bar is when the next enemy wave is coming. Where was that one we just got? Holy crap, it's like one of the last ones. That's crazy, huh? All right. Um, I might want to save up for this. Resource blocks have a 10% chance of dropping an additional resource. We're kind of close, I'm thinking. In fact, we might be able to get it right now even, huh? Maybe. I don't think that's quite enough. And then we gotta move the tank again. My last run, like, all the mines I found were super big and, like, just kept going and going and going, but maybe that's a mistake. I don't know if it matters if you go up or down, really. I think you can just do whatever you want. That's a big cloud, though. Is that, like, okay? Is that just part of the background, I hope? Okay, I'm trying to aim at these guys here. Keep moving up while we go. I am taking some hits. The enemies are so small. Okay, I think we're good. Come on. Any mines? Music's still kind of scary. Okay. I didn't see anything. <laughs> Was up a mistake? Maybe. How far up can a wall go exactly, too, you know? I don't know why they chose to make it vertical like this, really. It's kind of a... Oh, wait, why did we get another enemy wave so soon? What's happening? Maybe we need to go back down. Oh my god, these are like really advanced enemies for the time, too. Okay, maybe it's time to go back down instead. This is like a lot for where we are. Okay, turns out the sky was a mistake. Run! But unfortunately, we have to go all the way back, and then some, right? Please, get rid of them. Okay, good. The homing missiles know to go after the bigger enemies. I feel like I didn't kill everything. And now we're about to get another wave of enemies, too. I'm sorry. Uh, here, there it is. <laughs> well, we were off to a strong start, but apparently I made a big mistake by going up. <laughs> Live and learn, I guess. I don't know. All right, all right, guys. Oh, jeez. Took a lot of damage. You can repair. It takes a particular resource, which I don't really seem to find much of. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if I had let one enemy live and kind of chase us down. In fact, maybe I'm technically doing that now. You can see the enemy bar is not reset yet. So maybe we can make up for a little bit. Oh, apparently I missed a block in that mine. There. Or so it makes it look. Wait a minute. No, that's where that that doodad was, I think. All right, do I have to wait for this enemy to show up? Okay, is that it? I hope that's it. Okay, apparently that's it. All right, there we go. Well, that was definitely something to behold. Note to self, do not go up. Huge mistake, only down. This looks like some kind of weird, like, Matrix world where there is no more sunlight, you know what I mean? The robots have taken hold. All right. 
I'm still gonna play it kind of greedy here and take the extra resources for now. And hopefully we'll be okay. Okay. Now we'll get some defensive stuff if we can, but we really need some gadgets to help us probably. Okay. Yeah, I really want that turret really badly. Okay, there's a lot of stuff here. You don't get bogged down from carrying too much, which is kind of nice. I kind of like that. Feels like a nice change of pace from the Doom Keeper stuff. Okay, move speed. Eh, I guess the damage from bullets. Uh, I guess so, huh? How much else I can really do there? I always accidentally hit the wrong button when trying to exit the spider tank. Okay, nothing up there. Okay, I'm a little late. I got distracted. I saw all the juicy minerals. Oh! Oh, boy. That looks bad. <laughs> I guess the... I don't know. The rotation speed seems kind of weak. Is there anything else I can really do? Could try to get down to the fire rate. Very far from it. I guess we just take something to kind of help us right now care of those things that are right near us. Kind of do the same thing. Alright, I gotta show up on time next time, though. Maybe the missile can take out the big guy here. Come on, get it! Alright. Not great. Oh, whoops, I accidentally exited the mine. Not great. I am failing, y'all. We're only 10 minutes through and I've lost half my health. That's really bad. <laughs> we got lots of good drilling stuff. We got lucky with those upgrades, but not much else good has happened since then. Okay, I'm hoping to make just like a couple quick trips here. Maybe we do the bullet spread? I don't know. That way we can get to the fire rate a little bit sooner. Not sure. Hmm. Nah, maybe just do the damage while you can. We just need some help right now, right? We'll try to make one more trip. Very quickly. I want the move speed, but honestly, every time I've taken the move speed, I can't tell that I've taken the move speed. <laughs> okay, I will not be late this time. Maybe there's, like, one more real quick. Boy, pull. Okay, let's go. Run. Let's go, baby. I don't know how I feel about these long trips back. It's kind of a... You know, their downtime in between action is kind of important, but I feel like just the drilling itself is kind of downtime. But I don't know. How do you fix that? It's kind of core to the gameplay now, isn't it? Maybe we do take the move speed. I can't repair. I don't I just don't have any of that stuff. You need green crystals. I don't have any of these resources. So I guess we'll invest in some move speed. Alright. Missile's up. Do I just fire it right away? I guess I'll fire it right away. It's probably going to kill that. Turn around. Okay. Been better than usual, at least here. Get rid of the big guy. Took some hits, but not crazy, right? This should be it. Okay. Can you tell the difference in the move speed? <laughs> Maybe it's better than I think. I just can't tell. This reminds me of, uh, I'm sure, like, Dome Keeper got inspiration from it. Steam World Dig. That was, like, a classic game that I played quite a bit of back in the day. Is that the right game I'm thinking of? You were like a robot and you dug into the ground. I think they had like a 
the DS version of the game, maybe. There might have been two, a couple of them, even. They were really good. It was a lot of fun, I remember. Got a lot of stuff there. Just want to see, will that lead anywhere? We don't know yet. You gotta return, bring all my junk back. I played, the, I remember playing the crap out of the, the DS one. I think I played something else on PC, but I can't say for certain. Maybe even before the DS, I can't remember. I guess we'll save up for the spread, so just so that way we can get to the fire rate. Although, you need other resources that I don't have yet for that, so maybe... That's not that great. I gotta be pretty quick with this trip here. Need gadgets. I mean, considering how far in this is already, we're gonna need a lot of move speed, right? Okay, vacuum them up. Looks like we'll make it back just in time. Good time to sip a coffee. That's beautiful. Okay, what else we got here? Drilling efficiency. We actually drill quite quickly because of these other things we have already, so I think move speed has got to be the choice here. Now the question is, how do I get these other resources they're showing us, huh? I don't know yet. Not Showa. We have to go to more mines, go further down, maybe? It's kind of my best guess so far. Okay, let's fire the rocket now that we see one big enemy, at least. Oh, the rocket's going to that. Come on, get it, get it, get it. Uh-oh, we got a couple melee guys coming for us. Oh, boy. This is gonna be rough, isn't it? I don't know where this rocket's gonna go. Okay, it went for the melee guy. That's fine. Something spawned out of the ground there. A little bit of damage. It could. I don't know if moving around would really help us a lot in this instance. I think these little enemies that shoot projectiles at us. Come on, get it! It's still a little bonkers, unfortunately. Alright, I now have two move speed upgrades. Now can I feel it? I don't know. I don't know if I can. Alright, show me a gadget in here, please. Any second now. Any second now. Any second now. Holy God, what is this? Whoa! We did get a gadget! You found a bomb thrower, a weapon that fires a large bomb in a ballistic trajectory that with massive damage and area effect. Area of effect. Well, that's fun. Okay. So that's probably something that we can upgrade if we want. We did need something for defense, that's for sure. It's not automated or anything, though. You got a new weapon to switch it out. Switch to it and try it out. Oh. Okay. So it's a totally different weapon. So the machine gun is separate from the bomb thrower. Ooh, I like the sound of the blast area. It adds an aiming interface that shows the approximate trajectory of the next shot. I don't know. We gotta start moving. Let me take a look at what it looks like. Okay, so it has weight to it. So it goes down. Okay, so you can still shoot straight up if you so want. Okay, so you gotta aim a little bit above the enemies, I guess. Okay. That's interesting. We got another mine here. It would be great if we could quickly snipe, uh... Oh no, what'd I do? Getting the blast radius up. I think these things are gonna be tougher to drill. Okay, we gotta go. Gotta go, 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 go. We have 14. I think I try to save for the blast radius. I don't even know if this, if I'm gonna really like this weapon. Like how, okay, I don't think I can use it against these little enemies, right? No way, right? But against these guys, I guess? Come on, shoot. Alright, I kind of want it to just fall back down and hit these things. Uh-oh, we're struggling. Okay, I think that's good. Oh, no! Live! 
Get it! Oh no! It doesn't quite reach. I have to switch back. Oh no. This looks bad. We're struggling right now. I don't know if it's worth upgrading the... the cannon there, right? Oh, we got some healing stuff. Okay. Thank the maker. So maybe we gotta look for mines that have the green moss? If we need healing? That might be the idea. Okay, okay. That could be what's going on here. Our drilling isn't as good as it was before. Come on. Should look at the health upgrades too, because I know there's some expensive ones in there, and it might be a good time to invest in something pricey for health right now, right? Okay, we got lots of stuff. Due to the walls on the way back. All right. Where is it? Okay, so this one. Plus 20% efficiency of all types of repair. Huh. Is that going to be worth it? I guess we'll try. I have to go grab some more blue. Okay, good. Long term, of course. Long term, but I only get one repair right now out of that because now i only got two of the green left right hmm whoops i went back in we invested so much in the machine gun weapon i don't know if it's wise to use much of the bomber weapon trying to switch a midway through a run sounds kind of tough similarly the bomber weapon is meant to be a little bit stronger but it's not necessarily easy to use right Okay, I can repair one more time, luckily. All right, so we feel a little bit better now, at least. Like the bomber weapon right now, it does take a minute to swap. Let's go ahead and fire a missile. I don't know what that's going to go toward. Big guy over that way. Okay, I managed to snipe those things. Oh. I hope that's actually faster. Uh... Okay, looking good. Took a little bit of damage. Not crazy, though, right? That's it, right? Okay, so now what are we looking for? Hmm... I think we still want to get to the machine gun firing rate. We'll stick it out in this mine for a while. Probably don't need to mine every single block here, though. You can kind of see there's little secrets, potentially, though. Between just one block. You probably mostly want to head right. But if it's not on the right side, I don't know what the possibilities are. Okay. Alright, game, you're piquing my curiosity here. Come on. Uh, okay. I think I think we saw potentially everything here already, right? I think I'm happy to say that. All right, down we go. Another mine right here. Very good. I guess I am using the bomber gun a little bit, right? It's not totally useless. Ooh, okay. Got some treasure. I chose this little cave because of the water source, but now the flow has suddenly stopped. At first, I at first I was scared and even thought about getting out, but after about two cycles, the water flowed again. Hmm. Is that a hint? That if I wait, something will happen here? I don't know. I think I repair again. Drilling efficiency. We'll take the bullet spread on the machine gun for now, I think. It might be saying that something happens if I wait around. Is that the idea, you think? All right, oh, it's boss time. I kind of forgot. Okay. So I think the goal here, if I understand it correctly, you have to move out of that red zone, step one. I think I failed. I don't have, like, the dash ability, so it's going to be tough. And you have to destroy those purple... Uh, oh, no, I'm very stuck. 
Yeah, I'm definitely getting bonked here. <laughs> you have to destroy those purple bubbles on the boss. Let's try to just keep moving and maybe I can get out of the way of the tentacle. I don't think I dodged it still. Badly. Oh man, I'm just not killing it, unfortunately. Yeah, I think we're done for. Rest in pieces. It was a good effort. I mean, going into this guy was, was a big mistake that we had to learn from, though. You know what I'm saying? All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you want to see more of the game, of course. You know, it's brand new. Just came out. So let me know what you think. Uh, good or bad, you know, not every game I show is amazing, you know. I think, uh, you know, if I got to give this one a hail rating, it's it, it. the first impression wasn't great. The sound effects can be a little grating, I think, at moments. I think the art looks pretty nice, but then there's spots where it feels a little dull also. But overall, I think it's a kind of a nice little spin on the, you know, the Dome Keeper Steam World Dig style that we got going on. So it might be worth checking out if you're into those. All right, thank you all so much for watching. I'll check you out in the next video. Bye everyone. Oh wait, I gotta show you all the meta upgrades real quick here too. Okay, so there's lots of stuff actually going on. There's a bunch of stuff that's grayed out I can't even look at yet. And these take multiple upgrades potentially. Resource vacuum cleaner capacity goes up. Uh, spider durability. Uh, the interval between enemy waves. Allows the spider to make a quick dash up the wall, down the wall. <laughs> Interesting that it's you have to upgrade them separately, huh? I guess we're going to do the vacuum cleaner capacity. Uh, there's also just like drilling stuff uh, uh, as well. And oh, yeah, the, the missile fires a predator missile. Sounds even different. All right. Thank you all again so much for watching. I'll check you out in the next video. All right. Bye bye, everybody.